What it is, YouTube, this is your boy Deathcon3000 bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay on the map Stadium. Um, for some reason, I've been getting decent gameplays here lately on this map. Um, I'm rocking the M16 with New Tube, and I don't actually do very well in this game. The reason why I'm using this game is because at the end, um, I don't rage quit, um, even though I wasn't doing very good with this M16. Um, I've been working on trying to get better with it and that's the point of this video it's a pretty long video and it's gonna be a pretty long commentary um, but the point of me doing this video is to say don't ever give up you know um, if you give up on a video game you're probably gonna get up give up in life on things and you know just realize it's just a video game and if you get into a game and you're not doing very good and you're getting raped by the other team hey just accept it you know they're doing better than you uh, you know you might get killed by second chance a million times or you might get killed by this ghost bitch camping in a corner but you know that's just part of it it's a video game and it doesn't affect your real life so and actually if you stay in the game um, I'm starting to learn this even though it's even hard for me you actually learn from that um, if you stay in the game, you learn what the other team is doing, even if they're not camping using second chance and whatnot. You learn what they're doing, and then you can implement implement that into your gameplay, and you can become a better player. Um, so, um, anyways, um, don't give up on you know any game you get into. Um, try not to rage quit. I'm not saying I still don't do that because I do that sometimes. Um, I just can't stand it if I feel like somebody is using a lag switch or you know cheating of course I will back out I expect everybody to back out if uh, some douchebag is doing that but you see I'm kinda of being a douchebag cuz I'm using the grenade launcher and actually this class setup is a great class setup for the new map pack that's come out on Xbox 360 even though this game's on the PS3 um, one of the particular maps um, will be hazard um, I rock the M16 on there with the new tube, and you can new tube completely across the map. Uh, pretty beastly. Um, the three burst weapons, like the G11, and any kind of new tube. The China Lake. Um, great. Look at this douchebag. What the hell is he doing? See, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. He's sitting in a corner with the damn claymore set right in front of him. I mean, <laughs> that's hilarious. So, anyways, um, on another note. Um, you know what the gameplay is about, and you'll see at the end my team comes to victory. I'm going to be leaving out of town. I guess it's going to be this coming up Thursday. I'm leaving out of town. Um, the reason why is because I'm going to Chicago for a vacation. Some of my family's from up there, and I'm going to be enjoying myself. I actually haven't been to Chicago before the family that I'm talking about is my fiance side of the family and my stepson and we're gonna go up there cuz I've never been to Chicago before and we're gonna get free room and board and whatnot but um, I'm gonna be going to the Sears Tower I think that's gonna be pretty sweet um, I'm gonna ride the subway <laughs> even though people's told me that's probably not a good idea there's a lot of friggin rude people on the subway but I've never got to do that before I want to ride the Amtrak and uh, the family they got some scooters and um, I'm pretty sure they'll let us ride their scooters so uh, I can see myself with a scooter and a helmet on I look like a dumbass but Hell, at least it'd be better if I got hit by a car. I'd be, uh, you know, okay, and I wouldn't fucking die or nothing. But yeah, I'm gonna do that type of shit and get some Chicago-style pizza. Um, I think that's gonna be really good. Um, everybody says it's really, really good, and you can't eat more than one piece. I don't know. I've had other people say, "Oh, you could eat more than one piece," but they say it's really the best pizza you've ever had. And uh, I wanna try a hot dog from a vendor. Um, I think that would be pretty awesome. Um, a real authentic Chicago style hot dog. So if any of my subscribers are from Chicago or near around there, um, just leave a comment or private message me and let me know uh, where's the best place to get a piece of pizza at or uh, what should I definitely do except for the Sears Tower. Or what should I definitely do while I'm in Chicago? Um, 
because you know this is probably going to be uh, we might go again but you know like i said this is going to probably be a once in a couple year thing we'll probably end up going to amusement park next year or something like that for vacation we try to switch it up every year i think last year we went to great wolf lodge if you've never been there before it is freaking amazing it has a huge indoor water park and uh we actually went to king's island the amusement park and there was a great wolf lodge next to it uh and it was uh pretty steep in price but it was really worth the stay at great great wolf lodge with all the freaking water slides and shit that were indoor um i think they're open like 365 days a year it's pretty sweet and i think that's just about the best vacation i've ever had but anyways enough about the vacation uh, you see i ridiculous fell ridiculous um in this gameplay um these i just get run up and done up myself guys are running up behind me and i can't seem to cap flags and but i stay persistent with it and i'm like you know i'm gonna keep these guys off the flag try my best help try to help my teammates cap the flags uh, using the new tube and uh, I think I was actually lagging in this game quite a bit um, you see I will put like six nine bullets uh, with the M16 and a guy and uh, he won't die oh speaking of um, I really like this M16 with iron sights uh, which a lot of you know this I only like guns with iron sights I'm on black ops I really don't like the red dot sights I've tried them I think it's different to me than Modern Warfare 2. So, um, on the next subject, I'm going to talk about the PSN Pass. Uh, what do y'all think about that? Um, they're actually going to be, if you say when Modern Warfare 3 comes out or Battlefield, what is it, Battlefield th uh, 3 uh, comes out, um, if you do not buy the game new, I think there's going to be, what is it going to be, like 10 or $15 to actually play the multiplayer. Uh, that's absolutely ridiculous, um, I think. Um, I think you should be able to buy a used game, and there should not be no fee to play multiplayer. Because, um, I mean, who has, uh, no, everybody doesn't have the money to buy brand new games, in my opinion. You know, um, sometimes I have to buy used games, uh, because I don't have the money when they first came come out to buy them. Like, there's many new games that's going to be coming out, like Dead Island and whatnot. And it's going to be coming out a month or two before Modern Warfare 3 and uh, Battlefield 3. But I'm not going to be able to buy all them games I want to play. Because it's going to cost me, like, what, 120 bucks? Uh, 60 and 60, yeah, 120 bucks for Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Depending on if I decide I want to get the uh, Prestige Edition, which I don't have to get. But, you know, it's just crazy so i'm gonna be able to play multiplayer on them but if other games have multiplayer i'm gonna have to pay 15 dollars extra because i go back and buy used game uh it's just kind of crazy to me um these companies activision and ea um, i don't care what anybody says they're getting so freaking money hungry um they're already freaking billionaires millionaires whatever you want to call it uh, these people spend tons of money on you know the playstations and the games and all this and they still want to get in our pockets they want to get every bit of money they can get and uh you know they need to give the gaming community a break you know seriously um I think eventually, I don't think it'll ever happen, but, you know, people are going to get tired of it, you know, and people are just going to say, fuck it, I can't afford it no more, you know, I mean, what can I do, um, I guess maybe if you go to PC, it would be cheaper, I know PC games are actually cheaper than PS3 and Xbox 360 games, I think you could pick up a lot of games for like 20 bucks, you know, versus 60, and you know have your own servers and you know of course pc is better um i have a desktop pc myself um i haven't really played a whole lot of pc games i wanted to get call of duty 4 that way i could download the custom zombie maps and play them and post some of them up but uh next gen tactics already does that and um i guess it would kind of be pointless i'm trying to look for something different i can do on my channel um i know there's tons of commentators out there um a lot bigger than me a lot smaller than me uh just for black ops alone and it's hard to do something different um but um i guess if you just you're a commentator and you're just yourself um you know people get to know you personally um i think that makes a big difference on your channel um just like you know 
I had the biggest views on a video that I've ever had last night. Um, it was two videos ago. Um, I did it on fisticuffs. Um, check it out. Um, but if you haven't seen it and you're just watching my videos. But I got like 180 views in 13 hours. Not even a full day. And from fisticuffs just coming to that video and looking at it. Which I appreciate that fisticuffs. Um... I got 180 views in 12 hours. That is freaking amazing. So all it takes is one time um, to be compassionate and be yourself and meet one of these commentators. Um, if, if it be Fisticuffs or 402 Thunder or T. Martin or just, you know, any of them. White Boy. Um, and all they have to do is like one of your videos, comment on one of your videos, and you're going to gain tons of subscribers, which subscribers don't mean everything to me. I actually want people to view my videos uh, and enjoy my content, enjoy me as a person, because um, I want to also get to know my subscribers. So you see, at the end of the game, um, I end up getting my chopper gunner. I think I get dogs also. And um, we get the victory um, because we stayed persistent through the whole game and we didn't give up so don't give up in life don't give up on video games this is your boy deathcon 3000 make sure you rate comment subscribe peace